I don't know. Quick connects are just awesome. I don't know, it looks a little bit worn out. The draft is kind of like a thick boy. Oh. Oh. All right, guys, it's been an entire season with both of these products, the hose link and the giraffe tools. And in this video, we're gonna be going over all the pros and cons. Really, it is just a pro and a con. So let's go check out the giraffe tool first. Oh. All right. I've had these things for a season now, and we're gonna go over these uh, pros and cons. These both were given to me, uh, and I was able to review these things freely. Uh, I wanted to go through a season with each of these before I hooked up the rest of them. They gave me a set of these, and I got a set of hose links. And after going one full season, I now know which one I wanna choose. So first thing is that this thing's faded. You know, it gets a lot of sun. The other one didn't get as much sun, but it's also white. But this thing is like uh, faded big time. This was a dark gray. So this draft tool, this is orange, it's red now, you know, no big deal. But uh, one thing that I'm noticing, this is a huge thing, is that this bracket right here is bending. And this thing is starting to dip down, which is not good, okay? And uh, over on the hose link, I'm gonna show you, you know, we're not having that problem, but this thing is starting to bend and it's making it more difficult to put this on. This bracket is just uh, kind of weak. Another thing that uh, I don't like about the draft tool is that this right here that plugs into the, or plugs into, that screws into the spigot. You, had, you cannot lose this thing. So when you go to undo this, like I had this taped up on the, mechanism so I didn't lose it but like I know it's just a washer but when you undo it this thing is like that and your little washer will fall start leaking and another problem I found with the giraffe tool is the sprayer this part right here as you can see I'm screwing it in but then it starts to rotate around here and there's all kinds of complaints about this thing leaking and I mean I can see it see how that could happen because this thing is starting to rotate around here and then also uh, right here you can see there is a thing with the way this thing retracts back in you know or during the season when I would do this retracting you know I really don't let them go you know I, I walk them back in but uh, I noticed that there's a couple times when the wife used it, it gets it gets out of her hand and then this thing snaps back in. It is like a violent, like coming back in. And then now that I've noticed when I do it, as you can see here, it's not retracting in all the way. So it's like when it was brand new, it was super tight, like almost too tight. And then now this thing doesn't want to go all the way back in. You really have to like kind of force it, force it in there. And now it's like a little bit loose in there. So, but I mean, the whole concept behind it, you know, is good. Uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a hose, it retracts back in, but I mean, I don't know. It's made in China, it's a little bit kind of cheaper. They've been giving them all away, you know. This company is not a like garden type company, whereas Hoselink is a garden type company. They have all types of gardening and sprinklers and all this other stuff. This company has like pressure washers, uh, retractable air hoses, and it's like, I, maybe this is not their forte, you know, because this thing, I, I you know, I don't, this is coming off the house. I'm not gonna use it this year. You know, I'm maybe selling a garage sale or something, but yeah, not a fan. It worked for the year. I don't have any leaks. You know, the, this thing was retracting fine. If you look on Amazon, there's all kinds of problems, but you know, this one was fine to me, but I can see that, you know, as you can see, this thing is, is wearing down and I'm taking it off the house. It's, uh, it's gonna be a problem. And uh, let's go check out the one that I'm going with. Ah! All right, we're gonna start off with the hose link. Hold on a minute, we're gonna switch positions here. It's a little windy. All right, now this is what's going on in the house this year. I mean, I know I already have one, but I'm gonna be putting the other ones up uh, that I have, and I don't know what I'm gonna do with the other giraffe tools ones, so. But uh, yeah, this thing uh, is bad A's. You know, this thing has, let's start off with the handle. This thing right here, quick connect. 
okay? Quick connects are awesome. Another thing too, uh, this thing also has the shut off valve. For switching out things right here, uh, the quick connects are built in, they come with it, you know, and you don't gotta worry about screwing stuff in. It's, it's fantastic. But also now with connecting it to the house, they give you the fitting to put on your hose bib or spigot, whatever you wanna call it. And uh, you know, this thing just twists right off, twists on. You don't gotta worry about washers coming out, little things sliding all over the place. It's like very good construction. The hose, it's a thicker hose. And um, you know, I would use this thing in like rat, like it, I would have too much out and it'd be like wrapped up and like coiled out on the lawn. And you know, you leave it out there and like the hose does not stay in its like position. It, it, it straightens right back out and haven't had any kinking issues. Uh, you know, I took it across the driveway when I did my other renovation over there, you know, it didn't get all kinky on me. What? But uh, yeah, you know, this thing is just overall, you know, I, I don't know, you can't tell if it's faded or not because this one's white. They do have the option of it being black, which I have the black uh, version to make it look a little sporty, I guess. Uh, you know, the missus was saying that this kind of looks like it belongs in a hospital or something like that. I like it, but uh, you know, yeah, I got the black one and uh, you know, when hanging it up, it's got a little handle here, but uh, yeah, overall, this is a gardening brand, okay? They have all types of gardening products. Uh, weed pullers, I'm gonna be going over that later this year as well. I'm picking up one of those, but uh, you know, sprinklers and just other things for lawn and garden. This is for the lawn and garden. You know, the other one, draft tools, they have like air hoses for mechanics. They got like pressure washers that are just mediocre, you know, and like, it just, uh, I don't know, their products are not as solid as this. The the plastic, even though it's plastic, the plastic on here is solid. The Just the whole thing about it, it doesn't whip back in. I, it goes all the way back in and uh, yeah, there, no complaints. The bracket on here, there's no wearing on it at all. It's just, uh, you know, it's an overall, just a, a, a better, uh, hose reel, you know, it just, I don't, I don't know what else to say. It's just that, uh, this thing takes cake. And like I said, both of these were, were given to me and, you know, to give an honest review and you know, it is, it is what it is. Hose link, hose link takes it, you know, hundred percent. So hopefully you guys, uh, found this informative. Uh, you probably, you guys probably already knew that hose link was going to win anyways, but, uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I got more reviews coming. I got all kinds of products this year. You know, this is kind of like a product review channel and I do a little bit of my lawn stuff working with turf Titan this year. It's uh, soil microbes for the lawn. You know, uh, that's, I'm getting into that. So, you know, it starts with the dirt guys. So hit the subscribe button, turn notifications on and I'll see you in the next one. There's all kinds of cars and everyone's stopping, looking, just keep driving by. What the heck is everyone's problem here? Haven't you ever seen a guy with a camera before? Okay.